morning farmers welcome back to chipping norton now this snow's cleared from the ground but it's still snowing so we're gonna try and get down to the field pretty quickish so yeah we're running out of silage i mean the cows are munching their way through it and we need to get some grass mown so that's what we're going to be doing first off hopefully we can get some done before the snow settles again we just got rid of it Oh dear, oh dear. It knocked us proper out of whack last episode. And it's going to be doing the same again by the looks of it. So we need to get down there pretty sharpish. And obviously, once it's mown, we can bail it up into silage first off anyway. And then if, and it is a big if, it stays off, it doesn't stick, we can get some herbicide onto the fields. Obviously, I tried it in the snow, didn't really work, become really patchy. All right, let's get cracking then.
So that's the emergency silage. Because let's face it, we've run out. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So we'll chuck them in there. Hold on a minute. Let's position it a little bit better. Okay. That's it. They're in. So the emergency silage is in the facility. So obviously once the cows munch through their TMR, we've got, what, 150,000 litres? Yeah, that's going to keep them going for a bit, definitely. Now, I'm going to move on to the next job. Now, I did say we was going to do some herbicide, but I'm thinking, hmm, what did we do last time we did herbicide? And then they still grew back anyway. Yeah, I think that might be a bit of a problem. So, I'm thinking of changing it a little. So, if we go into the map, if we go and have a look at the fertilization state, so if we get rid of the weeds and you know, fertilizing, how's our fields doing with that? Because obviously they are going to need a bit of fertilization to be getting on with, well, to get the, the level up, the yield up. So all of our fields need fertilizing. Yeah, they've got no fertilizing state at all. So I'm thinking we'll bang a load down now, then we'll plant our seed next month. Then we'll put another layer of fertilizer down and then put the herbicide down. That should get rid of the weeds entirely. Well, for this cycle anyway. So obviously we don't want to put a load of herbicide down and then for them to grow back before we put the seed in because that's just a waste of money. Yeah, I think this might be a better way to go actually. So I'm going to unload this lime, put that fertilizer back in. So if we go for about there... I mean, well, that's better. So we'll get this loaded in. We'll get the fields fertilised for the first state anyway. And then we'll be laughing. Oh, that sounds like a plan.
Ah, there we have it. Oh, excellent. All the fields fertilised. Let's have a little look. I mean, that should turn into a sea of blue. Come on, Matt, when you're ready. When you're ready, Matt. There you are. Oh, look at the state of that. That's ace. One layer of fertilising down. Obviously, we still need to deal with the weeds, and we'll sort that out next month. But we're done. We're done for the day. I mean, five o'clock, right? I've got some emergency bales done. I've got all the fields fertilised at one stage. Oh, that is ace. We've got a sea of blue. Oh, love it. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. Whilst you're down there, why not hit the join button? Come join us on Andy's farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.